We were talking about Woodland Park and a brief orientation of the area. Stay tuned to the end and learn a lot of great information about this place. Hey guys, really quick before we get into the meat of this video, I just wanted to say really fast, if you haven't done so already, number one, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell down below. We put at least two videos out a week and I want you to stay updated on all the new videos we have coming out about the area so that way you can stay in tune to what's happening, things to do, and check out all the cool stuff out here. Also, I wanted to say, if you've got any questions whatsoever, please do not hesitate to call us at our team number, 719-266-2725. You could also email us at info at jdmret.net, and we will get back to you as quickly as possible. And that's any questions with anything whatsoever, uh, whether it's real estate related or just coming out here to visit or moving to this area, anything you've got question-wise, or even if you've got something else that you want to uh, just mention that might be a great video uh, to be able to do that you haven't seen yet, please, 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 please reach out. Uh, you can either call that number at 719-266-2725 or shoot us that email at info at jdmret.net or you can also post a comment in the messages below and we will absolutely get back to you as quickly as possible to answer all those. We serve as this area, we live in this area and we represent this area. We love working here. So hope you guys enjoy this video. All right guys, today we are talking about Woodland Park in a general sense, just because we've got so many different videos out there that get really specific on certain restaurants, things to do out here and places to live. This is just gonna be kind of a general overview. So the zip code out here is 8086 this is just going to be the city limits though uh, we might touch a little bit on just outside the city limits but just wanted to give folks that that either have lived here and and want to see some things that they might not have known about the place or folks that are coming here and have never been here before to get them an idea of kind of like what to expect or even those folks that have come here and they just want different ideas or see how the town's grown because they might have been here before in the past. So Willem Park is a really, really cool little town. It's a mountain town just outside of Colorado Springs, Colorado. Um, we're only about 40 minutes away from the airport within Colorado Springs, Colorado as well. And it is a quick, easy drive up uh, Highway 24 up the pass. So you would basically get off I-25 on the Cimarron or Highway 24 right there. You'll start heading west. You'll go uh, just past Old Colorado City, then you'll continue past through Manitou, start working your way up the U Pass, uh, and you'll pass Cascade, and then Green Mountain Falls, and then you'll actually end up here in Wilden Park. So um, it's a really cool little community. It's the first decent sized town that you get as you leave Colorado Springs and Manitou heading to the west up into the mountains. It's just north of Pikes Peak, and it is a uh, definitely a mountain community for the Colorado Springs area. Uh, we get lots of folks that come up here and they visit all the time, Colorado Springs and Denver for that matter. Um, and it is also a gateway into the Rockies as well. Um, as you continue west, you could take 24 all the way west uh, through the park all the way into Park County and just keep going and it gets you all the way through into all the Rocky Mountain portions of Colorado. Now, well, the park itself um, is, like I said, it's a smaller town, but it's got a lot of amenities uh, that you would probably be looking at going down into the, the Colorado Springs for, for if you did not have them up here in Wilden Park. We've got a super Walmart, which is one of the nicest Walmarts I've ever seen. It's up here. We've got several grocery stores, a Safeway, City Market, Natural Grocers um, out here as well uh, that you got lots of options for places to shop. As far as your groceries are concerned, we have uh, several, quite a few restaurants and gas stations, and places to shop and enjoy yourself. Uh, the Main Street area of Wilden Park is 24 as it kind of comes through that downtown area. Uh, you get to see a lot of really cool old buildings through here too. And you can see a lot of the old heritage from back in the old mining days when uh, Wilden Park became a town just so that it's a more of a stopping point on the on folks way out to Cripple Creek. Um, so in some of those uh, buildings as you see there in the downtown area are very historic uh, with that too. There actually used to be a lot of tunnels and stuff that went underneath. Uh, so it's really cool history, um, and I've got a good buddy of mine out here, uh, Tommy Allen, uh, who partners with Trevor Phelps, and, or Trevor Phipps, and they do a great podcast, so check out the Stories of Midland podcast. That'll tell you a lot of different historical stuff about this area. Um, but we have been growing quite a bit uh, for the last few years with new restaurants, new bars, 
new places to hang out that just weren't here when I first moved here almost 10 years ago. And it's been a really neat thing to kind of see this change as we get more and more really good places to hang out and eat food that you don't necessarily have to go down the mountain for. We've got your standard American cuisine. We've got Italian food. We've got Mexican food. We've got European style food. We've got uh, Chinese and Japanese and, and, um, and food from Asia out there, that Asian food as well. Um, we just, we have lots of different options. We have barbecue. Um, we have really cool bars that are out here. So, and I'm just going to name a bunch of them off just so you guys can have a good idea. And I've got lots of different videos that talk specifically about these also. Uh, so we've got uh, things like uh, Montanero with Italian food, Swiss Chalet. That's both owned by the same owners. That's more of a European cuisine. That's really good as well. You got Peak View Barbecue. We've got Roy's. Uh, barbecue as well that just opened up also. We have several Mexican restaurants up here from Serrano's to Hacienda to, uh, or not Hacienda, uh, Casa Grande, sorry. And, um, and then Fiestas as well. Um, we've got uh, Fusion, uh, which is a bunch of different types of Asian foods. And there we got several Chinese restaurants up here also, the Mayflower and Fortune Dragon as well. Um, we've got AJ's Pizza, which is really good. We've got 110 Reserve. We have Judges. Uh, we have Thai, um, a Thai Bistro that's up here also. Um, lots of different coffee places too uh, that are up here. Righteous Grounds, Human Beans, Starbucks, um, Java House. Um, man, we've just got so much stuff that is up here and it's continuously coming at the Ute when they open back up as well. So many different places to kind of come and hang out. Uh, summertime is definitely our tour season up here too as we kind of get warmer temperatures. We have lots of patio seating up here. All beer works as well as another one. I see there's tons of different places. Hungry Bear, Grandma's Kitchen. Um, <laughs> so many different places. Well, I'm having a hard time remembering them all. But we have lots of different places that you can come up here and hang out and check out. Um, I think a lot of times folks think, well, the park is just a drive-through area. And it is if somebody's got another destination or heading to further out west. But we have lots of folks that come up here and they will spend time vacationing up here in the summertime too. So certainly we're checking out as well. So Woodland Park, and just to give you an idea size-wise, so within the city limits, Woodland Park is sitting back in 2021 when they last uh, got this data all figured out. It was about 7,800 people total that called Woodland Park their home within city limits. Teller County, you're closer to about 25,000 total because we have a lot of folks that utilize Woodland Park and that's their primary hub, but they spread out to other areas within Teller County as well. But you can see this is a very small, tight-knit community compared to be down Colorado Springs we have a whole lot more people um, down there as well so most folks that we get to come up here they're looking to get away out of the city um, but still be close enough to where they've got all that access potential for the city as well because um, we've got a tractor supply up here as well uh, for any kind of feed or animal needs you might he might need we also have a Foxworth Galbraith and a uh, do-it-yourself hardware store as well here in town so it really kind of helps keep you from having to go down the mountain if you don't want to um, also and there's other things that support uh, local communities out in their own little cities as well but um, overall Wilden Park's got gorgeous views of Pikes Peak um, just year round it's just always so clear out here too and beautiful so it's gorgeous to be able to see Pikes Peak lots of the homes up here have views as well um, we've got the Wilden Park School District that's out here too uh, tons of churches Karis Bible College is up here also um, so lots of stuff that's going on and in the summertime you're gonna see a lot of those patios really open up with live music and a lot of different events kind of going on we have a Memorial Park that's in town as well it's a gorgeous little park where they throw lots of events in the summertime too. You can sit out on the grass floor. Fourth of July is a blast out here also. I mean, just lots and lots of different things. And, and Wilden Park is so close to, you know, Colorado Springs being 40 minutes from the airport. And the airport's on the east side of Colorado Springs. So if you're doing something on the west side, a lot of times it takes 20, 30 minutes just to get down to that on the west side of Colorado Springs. Um, just to get down to Oak Colorado City, you're looking at 15, 20 minutes to get down there. 15 minutes down to Manitou. So it just provides lots of options for folks while they're up here and they're moving around too, just to check things out and see things. Um, and then we've got all the mountain wildlife up here too with the bears, mountain lions, and elk, and mule deer too, turkeys, all those fun uh, wildlife that we get to see up here also. And this is just an outdoor mecca. It's a great place to base yourself for doing things outdoors as well. If you're looking at living here, it is a little bit more expensive than living down in Colorado Springs. Gas prices kind of fluctuate based on the time of year. There are times a year where we see gas prices actually less in Colorado Springs. Wintertime, it's usually a little bit higher because they're putting those, those winter cold additives that are in there too. 
But there's stuff here to do year round uh, that you don't necessarily need these big organizations to do like you're in the city um, for different, you know, activities and stuff. But, you know, those are available also. Um, we do have our UPass Cultural Center, too, uh, where we do a lot of different uh, things inside the, that area during the, uh, the wintertime also when we have indoor events uh, that happen inside there. So... You're looking at median home prices, typically sitting close to the 500,000 range um, up here. And then you've got homes all the way up into the millions too um, within the Wilden Park area. It just depends on where you want to live. Uh, but there's definitely an area that can be budgeted for you as well. But definitely come check us out. If you've not had the opportunity to that before, absolutely come. Uh, say hi, come see this really cool small mountain town, less than 10,000 people. Uh, so you can really come out here and enjoy this. And I hope to see you out there. And if you see me, make sure you say hi. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. And I just want to say again, really quick before you send off the page, make sure you hit that subscription button and that notification bell down below. Uh, that keeps you updated with all the new videos that we got coming out each week. And also, if you got any questions whatsoever for us, we are local uh, experts of these areas and we are local uh, real estate agents within these areas. And we love helping people out. We got people calling us all the time uh, for these, but please just call us 719-266-2725 or you can email us at info at jdmret.net. And we look forward to hearing from you and seeing you next time.